Okay, we are here to talk about my weekly sales. This is from January 5th, I think. Yes, the 5th through the 12th. I've had some amazing, really good sales, so I'm excited to share those with you guys. If you're new here, thank you for coming to watch this video. My name is Heather. I go by the Canary Closet on all of my social media stuff. All that information is down below in the description. If you want to follow me there, if you haven't yet subscribed, I do three videos a week. They're all reselling videos. They're mostly thrift hauls and what sold videos. But sometimes I put in like some tics, tips and tricks videos. I also don't edit out every time I screw up words because <laughs> I just want to be real. Um, and then sometimes I put in rescue box like uh, mystery unboxing videos. So that's what this channel is all about. If that sounds interesting to you and you're not yet subscribed, please push that button down below. If you are already subscribed, thank you for coming back. I appreciate your support and watching my video. Ways that you can help me for free would be giving this video a thumbs up commenting on the video anytime throughout. You can use links down below to purchase things for your business. Of course, that's not free, but that does give me a little bit of a kickback. Also the Amazon links, like for example, for my photo box, you can use that link, but you can purchase anything on Amazon. And I do get a little kickback that way. So those are a few ways you can support the channel if you'd like. If not, and you just wanna watch it and we just have it in the background while you're working, that's totally fine too. So I am going to let you know what I sold. I did have a couple Facebook Marketplace sales but I am having issues with people are sending me messages saying that there's no button where they can actually buy it. And so they're sending me money via Venmo and I'm shipping that way. So I don't know what's going on. If you guys sell on Marketplace and you've ever had that happen and you know how to resolve that, let me know. When I look at my listing, it looks like that like it's normal. People can send offers, people can buy it through Marketplace, but they're saying that they can't. So I don't know what's going on with that. So anyway, this morning, or actually last night, I just sold this Land's End puffer vest. Um, I don't know if I have a picture of it anymore because like I said, I'm not doing it through Marketplace. So I think I just deleted all the sales. So I'll just tell you about the couple sales, I guess, that I had. Uh, Land's End vest was a 1X silver goose down filled puffer vest. It wasn't a size 1X. Wow, I'm literally stupid. I literally just said that. Okay, anyway. <laughs> It sold for $28 plus the buyer paid shipping. I think I paid around $5 for that. So I do pick up Land's End, Talbots, um, stuff like that with the down filled puffer vest, especially in the larger sizes, but I will sell them in the smaller sizes. Extra pair of seven for all mankind dojo jeans. So I just picked these up in a recent haul that I, I think I put that video out on Tuesday. If you wanna watch it, I'll link it up here. Um, and these were a size 29. They had the seven pockets on the back, which is of course what you wanna look for, especially the ones that have the white embroidery. These ones sold really fast for $65 plus shipping. Again, I just did that through Venmo, so I don't have any pictures, sorry about that. The rest of the sales will have pictures, but that was a great sale, it sold really fast. I saw somebody else on Instagram that just sold a pair for I think like 75 or 80, so definitely dojo jeans are a bolo right now. I would pick them up even if they don't have the white sevens, like even if they're just the same color as the jeans or like a, you know, something different, they're still doing really well with that low rise flare style. Okay, I had a few really good sales on Depop. So the first were these pair of Skechers boots. These were definitely either from the 90s or the early 2000s. They were a size seven and a half. They weren't even real leather, but they were like a heeled ankle boot. They went up a little bit higher lace up. They sold for, $63.80, that is an amazing sale. It was an offer I sent to them. So on Depop, they have automatically, like when somebody likes it, you can push send offer and it shows a 15, 20, and 25% off, I think. And if it's a newer item, I always send 15% off. So that's what I did for this person. That was a great sale. Super excited about that. Next were a pair of Eileen Fisher pants. So Depop is weird because you can sell something that's like very Depop like the Y2K Skechers boots. And then you can sell something that's very not Depop, like these Eileen Fisher pants. They were a size medium, high rise linen pants, um, and they sold for $34. So that's great. I cross list everything everywhere. Next was another pair of vintage shoes. These were a pair of Mud, M-U-D-D. -D. I remember this when I was in high school that this was popular. So I know it's gonna be popular now because all that stuff is coming back again faux leather. I think I picked these up at the same time as I did the Skechers. These ones were not quite as chunky, not quite as like high um, up on the ankle as the other ones. They did sell for $36. 
and then I sold another Eileen Fisher. So we either have Y2K or Eileen Fisher this week on Depop. This was a tank top in a size small. It was 100% silk, uh, cream color, and that sold for $25. So nice sales on Depop this week for me. Four sales is good. Okay, we have a few sales of Mercari. First was a Disney Her Universe dress. So not all Disney Her Universe stuff is good. So make sure you're looking up the exact items. Like I found some stuff from Disney Her Universe Star Wars and it didn't sell good. This, however, was a Belle dress. So it looked like Belle from Beauty and the Beast with the yellow, um, like tiered skirt. And it was like off the shoulder. It was super cute. It sold for $55. So that was really exciting. I found two of these dresses at the same time at a Goodwill. I did look up comps. I figured they would be good and they were. The other one sold somewhere else. So you'll see that later on in the video. Uh, next a pair of a Goldie jeans, which I don't feel like are selling as good as they used to anymore. I might still pick up certain styles for the right price. These ones were in a size 25 and they were a mid rise straight. They did take quite a while to sell and they sold for $31.50. Next was a Bowden shirt. This was in a size 10. This was a blue chambray, just like classic button up shirt and that sold for $29. And then I sold this Brunello Cuccinelli sweater. This had multiple stains on it. So it was white with this metallic V-neck sweater, which sucked. So with this sweater, it actually had a little bit of stains when I first got it home and I didn't see it when I bought it because it was like kind of bad lighting. And so I tried to get it out and I feel like when I washed it, somehow it made it worse and it like got more. And I was like, oh, I'm not messing with this anymore. So I sold it really fast for $38. Somebody else can deal with it and take it to the dry cleaners. Like I'm still gonna make profit on it, but I was like, maybe that was a mistake. Okay, let's move on to Poshmark and then we'll do eBay last. Let me know down below how your sales have been. I have um, been hearing, of course, all kinds of things from people on groups or on Instagram, but I think sometimes the like, the apps are weird and like they're doing something in the background but then sometimes I'm like maybe you're just not li listing the right things <laughs> or you're not doing the right titles or you're putting in bad pictures or you're pricing too high so I think there's all kinds of factors for why people are having bad sales and it's not always just the platform's fault okay first thing I sold on Poshmark were these pair of noble shoes these are kind of like a athletic shoe I think maybe people use them for weightlifting a lot um, these were in decent condition. Some of them I've sold for more than this. They were a uh, size eight and a half green and they sold for $28. Next was a Desigual dress. This was in a size extra large. It was a black yellow daisy shirt dress. Really cute, really pretty. That sold for $34. I sold these figs scrub pants. So this is the only scrub brand that I pick up basically. They weren't a size small tall. They were the gray Zamora jogger and they sold for $25. Next was a J. Jill cardigan. This sold super fast in like one or two days. It wasn't a size 4X, which is a great size that I will pick up for J. Jill. It was an open like jacket style. It kind of was like a little bit of a longer length and it sold for $29. Next was a vintage American Eagle coat. I found this a little while ago, probably a couple months ago at a local Goodwill. It wasn't a size extra large. It was a brown corduroy coat with like the Sherpa collar so I have heard that the corduroy like jackets or jackets or coats are doing really well right now this one sold for $38 uh, next was an amazing sale I just got this from a thrift store I don't remember when I had it in a video but I know it was recent I think I put it in a video um, it was a J. Crew collection jacket in a size 6 and it was leather it was definitely like more of a Y2K look and it sold for my full asking price of $90 so that's amazing. Um, next pair of Sorel shoes. These were men's size 12 brown slip on casual shoes. Those sold for $30. I sold these men's marine layer pants. I thought these were women's, but then I went to list them and looked up the style number and realized they were men's. They were tan Saturday business type. Um, the Saturday pants was the style. I put in business office workwear for keywords. Um, size medium men's sold for $35. Next a pair of newest tags cut from the cloth pants, which I don't hardly ever pick up this brand anymore because it doesn't do that well for me. These ones did, however, they were a size eight. They were the Reese style and they were black faux leather and they sold for $37. Next was an Eileen Fisher size large organic Irish linen top that sold for 30. I sold these Levi's shorts in a size 26. These were the high loose. That was the actual style name. Um, and they sold for $18. Next was the brand clean Kel K 
L-E-E-N. I can't speak. I would not recommend picking up this brand. I got it because it was linen. I thought it was a very good minimalist, lag and look loose type of item, but it sat forever and it sold for $8. So bye. Um, next was a Missoni sweater. Really good sale. This was a size small, purple. It had dolman sleeves. It was short sleeve. Um, and it sold for $72. So yay for Missoni. Sometimes it can sit for me for a while, but it typically does sell for a good high price. Uh, next up was a vintage men's vest, like a ski puffer vest. It was from the brand Snow Lion. It wasn't a size extra small. It was downfilled and it sold for $18. I sold this a piece of heart sweater. I know that this is expensive, but honestly, it has been sitting forever with hardly any action. I had been lowering the price about once a month and someone offered me $20 and I was like, buy, leave, because I don't want this to sit around forever. Um, I don't understand why like some people, like I'll watch some what sold videos and they're like, I've had this since 2021 and I sold it for $20. And I'm like, like, why weren't you marking that down? Like I would be willing to sit on something for a while if it was like, I sold it for $400, but like, I'm not about to sit on something for three years for it to sell for $20. Like I'm going in after the 90 days and I'm gonna go in and start lowering by 10%. Like in my opinion, that's not the best thing to do, but you can do whatever you want. I'm just saying like move that inventory out because obviously it wasn't a good idea to pick that up if it's sitting for literal years. Okay, next was a Unif sweater. I've also heard this brand can do good, but this is another item that sat forever. Um, not getting any good offers. I was lowering the price. It sold for $25. I sold this Ula Johnson dress. This is like, wow, all these things. Ula Johnson, expensive. I feel like it's not as desirable as it used to be. I don't know. Things are, don't seem to be selling as much. Maybe certain pieces are um, not as fast. I've had this dress probably for nine months. Like it definitely went through the spring summer season and did not sell. It sold for $34. So I mean, that's fine. Next for a pair of Madewell jeans. I wouldn't pick up these anymore. They're a size 25 petite. The blue Cali Demi boot, they sold for 13. Step for a pair of Vionic sandals. These were in a size seven and a half wide. They were a black leather sandal with a little bow in the top. Those sold for $22. I sold this Alice and Olivia dress. I think that I got this in a thread up designer box and it wasn't a size six, just a basic black short sleeve mini dress and that sold for $45. So to me for Alice and Olivia, like a basic piece like that, that's pretty good. Next to a pair of Doc Martens. These were a size six. They were the Molly platform boot. I got these at a Plato's closet, I think for $25. Um, they were like an iridescent purple color and they sold for $75. So that's great. Next was an anthropology cardigan. It was a cream crochet. Um, Evelyn K was, I think, the style, or maybe that was the sub-brand. I don't remember. It sold for $18. Um, a Disney store jacket. This was the size medium. It had Mickey Mouse on it. It only sold for $11. Sometimes I have a hard time leaving behind vintage Disney, and then I sell something for $11, and I'm like, why did I get that? Because it was cute. I don't know. Anyway... I still made a few bucks on it. Um, Mission Canyon pants. I found a bunch of this. It's a very boho brand out of California. This was a pair of gaucho high rise pants and they were all just one size. Even though some of them I really don't think could fit every size. These ones sold for $29. Next was a women's North Face coat. This was an amazing sale. It wasn't a size 1X. It was a black reversible coat. It was um, in, or it was on a new rack, but it was labeled men's. I looked up the style number, figured out it was women's. It sold for $76, so yay. Um, Free People sweater. This was a size large. This was the Malibu oversized sweater. I got this at a local thrift world, and I got a blue one as well and a size extra large. I think that might have sold on eBay. This one sold for $32. Next to a pair of Anthropology Pilcro and the letterpress. Actually, just Pilcro. It said in the tag because they are a newer pair. Size 31, a blue linen blend high-rise wide leg pants sold for $29. I sold these athleta pants very quickly. They were size 22. The style was the red playa, playa linen wide leg crop. Um, sold for $25. Next was an anthropology dress in a size 12. This was a multicolor plaid midi length dress and it sold for 38. I sold the soft surroundings tunic in a size large. This was a blue tie dye beaded tunic and it sold for $21. 
Next were a pair of Hunter boots. These I got at a local Goodwill, I think for 10. They were the black with the matte, like, so not really shiny. They also included socks and they sold for $45. So comps were literally all over the place in this and the sell through rate wasn't actually that great, but I just like took a risk and whatever, I guess they paid, it paid off because I did sell them pretty quickly for a decent price. So that is good with me. Okay. Let's go to eBay last. I've been, eBay has just been so good lately. I'm just like, yes. The first thing I sold on eBay is this Patagonia shirt. It was a women's size small capoline base layer. This sold for $22.50. Next was an IC by Connie K uh, jacket slash shirt. It wasn't a size 3X. I put Valentine's in the keywords. It sold really fast for $40. I sold this Everlane sweater again, if you remember. I sold this Everlane sweater on Mercari. Somebody returned it because they said it had too much pilling, even though I took pictures of it and I put it in the description, Mercari let them return it. So slightly annoying. This time it sold for 45, which is still a great price for Everlane, I feel like these days. So hopefully this one doesn't get returned. Uh, next was a cool sweater, K-U-H-L. This was in a women's size extra large. It was a maroon wool blend quarter zip and that sold for 32. I sold this Catherine sweater for full price. This was in a size 5X. It was a multicolor, kind of like a space dye-ish full um, zip cardigan, and that sold for $30. Next were a pair of Lily Pulitzer leggings. These were in a size medium. Multicolor floral paisley sold for $30. I sold this Anthropology top very quickly. This wasn't a size extra large, so Anthropology and Free People in a size large or up tends to sell much better for me much quicker so I'm more likely to pick up this rather as if I saw this same style in an extra small I probably would have not picked it up this one sold for $28 next was a Patagonia jacket I did pay up $15 for this at a local thrift world it wasn't a size extra extra large women's um but it was comps were really good and it sold really fast for $81 I had it listed for 90 and someone offered me 81 which is kind of funny because on eBay, they could have used my 20% off coupon and got it cheaper, but they didn't. So I'm like, thanks. So that was an amazing sale. Um, next was an Eileen Fisher turtleneck. This was in a size medium. It was lightweight, stretchy. It did have a little bit of pilling that I couldn't quite take care of with my sweater shaver. It sold for $20. I sold this packed skirt in a size large. It was organic cotton. I've had this for probably six to nine months and it didn't sell. So I took an offer of $20 on that. Next were a pair of mother jeans. These were in a size 27. These were the Looker Ankle Fray, um, which doesn't sell as good as some of the other styles, but if it's still cheap, I'll still pick them up because people love mother jeans. They sold for $45. I sold this Max Mara blazer in a size 12. This came in a thread up rescue box as well. I wasn't that excited about it. It was Max Mara Studio, actually, I think. And I don't know, it was just like not that great. It sold for 31, so I'm happy with that. Here's the other Disney Her Universe item. This one was another bell dress, but it was um, it had it was a little bit different. The other one was kind of more like cosplay-ish, like it looked like the dress that she wore in the movie. This one had like a little white collar with like pictures printed along the bottom of the skirt. It was super cute. It sold for $65, so that's great. Um, Athleta jeans in a size 14. Somebody informed me that the Athleta jeans in larger sizes do well if they say Sculpt Tech, so I tried them out. And they did. They sold for my full asking price of $35. So I guess I'll keep looking for the Athleta jeans in larger sizes. Next was an Ecote. If that's how you say it, a skirt. This was new with tags, extra small maxi skirt. I've had it for a long time. I, I don't know why I got this. I thought it could be cute. It sold for 10. <laughs> so bye. Um, next, Mercy dress. I just picked this up at a local thrift store. It was new with tags in a size large, extra large. It was a shirt dress and it sold for $50. Next were a pair of cabby skirted leggings. I still sell these pretty good, not quite as fast as I used to, but I will still pick them up because they do well. Size medium, sold for $35. Next was a Lululemon shirt in a size 12. This was the gray Swiftly Breathe. It was a long sleeve stretchy top, sold for $40.50. That was marked down. I think right now I have a couple of marked down sales in my, in my eBay store. I wish you could do that on Poshmark, but you can lower prices, but it's just different. Like you can't separate it into categories. So on eBay, I think I'm letting things go through my 90 days 
because that's what I'm when I'm looking things up for sell through rate and all of that. It's based off of 90 days. So after 90 days, then I drop it by 10%. And then there's like, I think I do like 120 to 180. I do 20%. And then I do like the other ones and up, I think 30%. I think that's what I have going on right now. I think it is helping get me more sales. So I would suggest doing the markdown sales. And somebody asked me recently in a video about showing my listing process, I think, and creating a coupon maybe. But I can't quite remember. I'm not going to do it in this video because I, I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing. So I'll have to go back. But if it was you and you're watching again, comment it again and just remind me. But otherwise, I'll look back through my recent videos and I will try to add that in soon. Okay, next, a Lululemon jacket. This was a size six. It was the orange street to studio jacket. It sold for $40. Next was a Nubus Tags Harry Potter sweatshirt, or I mean sweater. This was from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which is in Universal Studios. So I think that makes it a little more valuable than like ones you can get at Walmart. It sold for $29. I sold this Torrid shirt very fast. It wasn't a size 5X, black floral. So Torrid in 5X, 6X sells really good for me. This sold for $25. Next was a Catherine shirt in a size 3X. This was a gray pleated long sleeve lace embroidered top and it sold for $21. I sold this Ivy and Fisher dress in a size medium. This was a silk linen blend, um, probably knee length, and that sold for $45. Next, a pair of Cole Haan shoes in a size eight and a half. I just picked these up. They were black leather low top shoes. They sold for $28. Here's another amazing sale. This was a Johnny Was sweatshirt. I picked this up at a consignment store for $30. It was a size medium camo embroidered full zip sweatshirt, and it sold for $100. Hmm. I love selling Johnny was that's, that's literally amazing. That's a, such a great sale. Okay. Eileen Fisher pants, a size medium white organic linen sold for 25. Next was the brand Keens, maybe Q U I N C E. This was a size small wool alpaca crop cardigan, and I sold it pretty quick for $32. I sold this Ann Taylor sweater. This was definitely an older tag, but it wasn't a size extra large and it was cashmere. It was a sleeveless turtleneck sweater and it sold for $25. Next to a pair of on cloud running shoes. These were men's size eight. I got these at a Goodwill for $20. Um, I had made a second round back to the shoes because I always go to the shoes first. And for some reason I missed when they brought out a new cart and they were on there. So I snatched them up. They sold fast for 70 bucks. Another amazing sale. These were a pair of Etro pants, E-T-R-O. This is definitely a Bolo brand. These were size 42, which equals to a U.S. size medium snakeskin reptile straight leg pants sold for $80. Do you see why I said I love eBay this week? Um, a free people sweater, size extra large. These were This is the same style as the pink one, the Malibu style, sold for $34. Next was an Ivy and Fisher sweater in a size extra small. This was a blue tensile merino wool alpaca blend, and it sold for $32. I've had some people commenting on one of my posts about Eileen Fisher that they don't pick it up in the smaller sizes, but I still will if it has good material like this. Another Eileen Fisher. This was again in a size extra small. It was a tan linen loose knit tunic and it sold for $35. Next to a pair of Allen Edmonds shoes. So this is a good men's dress shoe to be in the lookout for. On the bottom inside, like where your heel would go or the bottom of your foot, it has the name of the style. So look that up because some of them don't do as good as others. These ones were the Delray style and they sold for $48. Another Eileen Fisher extra small. This was a blue merino wool lightweight pullover sweater sold for $31. Next we have a Talbot sweater in a size 1X. This was a navy blue striped Pima cotton cardigan and that sold for $20. I sold these bands. These were in a size 7.5 white rainbow low top sneakers sold for $22.50. Uh, next up was a pair of aloe yoga pants. So definitely look up the style on the newer aloe yoga. It has a style number on the tag if it's still in there. These were a size large. They were the high waist pursuit trousers. They sold for $70. So that's amazing. Um, Miss Me Jeans, size 29, easy boot cut, sold for $35, full asking price. Democracy Jeans in a size 16, absolution. Straight leg jeans is sold for $28. And that's it for my sales, you guys. So 
I'm really happy with this. My uh, pending balance on Poshmark is over a thousand, which was like, is like a great goal for me. I don't keep it there that often, but maybe this year it'll be better because I am getting my closet a little bit bigger again and I'm putting better items in my closet. So really excited to see what happens with that. Um, I'll be back on Sunday with a haul video. I do have some cool things to show you. I got some good stuff at the consignment store and some good thrifting stuff too. So that video will be out Sunday. Make sure you come back for that again. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't yet. I'll see you guys again soon. Have a great weekend.